Hey, welcome to this Windows channel and today we're going to talk about an issue that affects a lot of people, bad Wi-Fi. And when I mean bad Wi-Fi, I mean that performance or, you know, your speed of internet is very slow or your um, you have frequent disconnects with your computer and, you know, that's enough to drive everybody mad, basically. So the first thing you need to know a little website called speedtest.net. Go here and make sure that you test your speed according to this website. Why? Because it's not a good idea to measure your speed on the internet with websites that you visit because sometimes it does happen that a slow internet connection on a website is actually the website being slow or being there's just too much people there and the site it's, the website itself is very sluggish. So go to speedtest.net and click the begin test button in the middle. What it's going to do is going to tell you what speed you are on the internet. Now I have a 30 megabit down, 10 megabit up connection. As you see here, my 30 megabits down is pretty much what I have and I'm on Wi-Fi right now. And, of course, I should see a 10 megabits up because I know that's the connection. If you aren't sure what's the connection speed of your internet, just call your ISP, your internet service provider. Ask them, what are my speeds that I should have on the internet? Now, it doesn't need to be perfect. Here you see numbers that are pretty much perfect. Uh, you know, like 31 megabits up, 11 megabits down, which is pretty much the speed of my connection. But, you know, depending on the, the, where you are, with your router so the farther away you are from your router if you're in an, another room or you're really far away these speeds will go down that's normal if I go into my kitchen which is totally opposite where I am now um, you know I might have 15 megabits down and 5 megabits up because the farther away you are the weaker the signal of the Wi-Fi and the less speed you'll get on your connection. So this you'll have to do in the same room of your router. That's the first thing you need to know. Uh, the second thing that you'll want to check for after that is the interconnect. So make sure that your cable modem or DSL modem is well connected to the router. Make sure these two work together. Maybe you have a combo which has uh, modem and router included in the same box. If you want to make sure that your connection is the fact of your Wi-Fi and not maybe some problem with router and modem, uh, the best thing you could do is to plug a wire, a LAN, um, in the LAN, uh, an internet cable from one of the LAN ports of your router or modem into the LAN port of your laptop. Every laptop has a LAN port. Plug in an ethernet cable in there and check if the speeds that you get with speed test are better when you're connected via wire. If the speeds are always good, you know that your internet connection is not the problem. You know that probably the router itself also is not a problem. What you have is a typical Wi-Fi problem. That still could be your router, but it could also be your computer. And it also can be a mix of the environment where you are. That's very important to know. Uh, think of Wi-Fi, especially if you're in a big city, uh, that you have lots and lots of neighbors that with Wi-Fi. And you can check that because when you click and you check the Wi-Fi connections, you'll notice that on the Wi-Fi connections, you probably see a lot of people. So these are all my neighbors, as you see here. These are all my neighbors that you see here. So um, you see that there's a lot of signals and that can play against you. So that's one thing you need to know, how many neighbors. So you might want to do a few changes. And one of the changes you can do is go inside your router. When you go in your router by using its IP address, most routers are, are at 192.168.1.1. 192.168.0.1 and so on. Uh, one thing that you can change is first of all the mixed network mode. If you have only one laptop or if you have really really 
uh, you know, recent devices, smartphones, laptops, and so on, why not choose N only instead of having mixed? That sometimes helps because mixed means that the router and the computer will actually do a handshake to understand what is the protocol we're going to use. And it sometimes uh, mixes up the router or the computer and they don't know how to actually react correctly. So you can actually put wireless N automatically. If you have really, really new devices, wireless AC. Uh, but this, you'll need really new devices. You can also change the channel width for a fixed 20 or 40 megahertz instead of having automatic. Another thing, instead of auto channel, why not choose your channel? A little hint here, channel 11 is often, often one of the channels not used a lot by neighbors. And so you can actually try different channels. You know, if everybody's on channel 6 and your neighbors, well, okay, that's a possibility that if you're on channel 6 also, there's a lot of interference, so why not move away? So you can try different channels, and maybe that will improve a lot. That can even improve range, because if you can choose a channel that nobody uses, it will really, really improve your own uh, range in the Wi-Fi. Another thing to check for in the wireless security is to make sure you're at the WPA2, which is the latest. There's, there's WEP. There's WPA and there's WPA2. Of course, if you've got the latest devices, choose WPA2. It will be much, much better. If you have WEP, please change that. WEP is not secure and is often a problem of speed between devices. So make sure that you have uh, WPA, at least WPA, and even better, WPA2 with your security. That will help also. It's uh, surprising how uh, using the latest settings can help you. Um, and of course, each time you change something, check out with the speedtest.net the different results. One last thing that can affect speed is also how cluttered your uh, or jammed your internet connection is on the street where you live. Um, there are some internet service providers that have, you know, these very small pipes to give internet to a full street. And if it, everybody's downloading stuff on your street at a certain time, there might be some periods of times where you're going to see that the internet connection is slower. Uh, that can happen. Uh, but you know what? If you always have at least, um, you know, 10 megabits up or up for download and upload, it's not too bad. But of course, everybody wants to have the maximum out of its uh, internet connection like I do right now. So make sure that you check that out. Um, last thing that you might want to check for is the, um, the router, where it's located. Um, the antennas, if you have antennas, play with the antennas, make sure that, you know, the router is well situated. And the last thing that you can check if you really still have problems is to check the drivers in your computer. That could be a very important thing. Um, Wi-Fi drivers are important for good connection. So if, for example, you disconnect all the time, or if you have speed problems with Wi-Fi, even at close range, well, go into your device manager in the control panel. So you can, you know, go to start menu, right click uh, in Windows 8, or if you're in Windows 7, you just go to the start menu and go to control panel. Once you're in the control panel, you can go into, if you have the uh, category view, change it to uh, large icons on the upper right and go into the system tab go into the device manager and here you'll see network adapters check that out and sh sh go on your um, manufacturer's website make sure that you have the latest driver for your uh, wireless LAN card 
click on it, double click on it and check the driver date. Check if there's something that is more recent and update your drivers. You can also try the update driver button here to see if something will pop up. And uh, hopefully these little tips and tricks will help you in uh, using your Wi-Fi and having a good solid connection. So these are really tips and tricks that you can try for. And at last resort, if everything fails, one of the things that I would recommend is reset your router completely to uh, the original, you know, manufacturer reset when you bought it and reprogram everything. Reprogram, uh, you know, the Wi-Fi settings and all the information that you need there. Um, and, you know, sometimes just doing that helps. It does happen that settings can get corrupted and then the router doesn't actually work that well and creates more problems. So, uh, you know, check that out. It's something that uh, can happen uh, quite often. If you enjoy our videos, why not subscribe to our channel? You'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have any comments or questions on what you've seen, let us know. And um, if you have Wi-Fi problems, you can always ask and say what you have as a problem. And uh, we'll try to help you if possible. Thanks for watching.